Hey, Critical Mass, I am sorry, I haven't been on for a couple days. As you can tell, I'm looking really sharp right now. Um, it only hurts when I swallow, and I'm not meaning that in a sexual way. It really only hurts when I swallow. I feel like shit. Peanuts with me. Peas, you want to say hi? You want to say hi? Who's that? Who's this? Who's this? Who's this? No, I don't want any food. I want you to look at the camera. Say hi. She should be in a movie. Peanut should be in a movie. Look at that face. Look at that punum. Look at that punum. Oh, she's a good looking girl. She's a very good looking girl. Okay, so we are back. Um, what do I want to talk about? Um, yeah, can, I, can I shoot like this? That doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Um, so, uh, what was I going to say to you? Yeah, uh, I read today that uh, Schwarzenegger's making another Conan movie. Yeah, we need to see Conan, another Conan movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger. And I was reading something about, um, whatchamacallit, I was reading something about uh, uh, some finance company out of India that's financing some TV show about pirates, yeah, we need another pirate TV show because that's, that, you know, it's, it's such a big topic these days. But they had invested in the re reboot of uh, Dread 3D because I'll tell you, I saw Judge Dread in, in England and it was a piece of shit back then. No need. That's the problem with Hollywood, man. It's just, re let's reboot shit. Let's do, you know, I, I just thought about movies that sucked and let's reboot them. That's what I thought about. I thought, why don't we just take shit that sucks and reboot it and make that the movie of the year? I just feel like, you know, get original ideas, you know, this Cloud, of, Cloud Atlas that I want to see. You know, even though, uh, yeah. I, I, so one of the Wojciechowski uh, uh, is a woman now that was a man and making a huge deal about it. But she's loaded. What does it matter? You know, she's like, oh, the whole world is against me. You're a multi, multi, multi-millionaire, really. You can do whatever the hell you want. And who cares if you were a guy and now you were a girl? Who cares? I don't really care about that. But I just feel like making a big deal about that. And it's like, okay. You know, you're still the same person inside your head. You came with those awesome Matrix movies and all that stuff. And, and I saw the preview, and they gave it an okay review. I still want to see it. It's over. It's like three, a three-hour movie, so who cares? And that's not what I was talking about. Like, th that's an original idea with Life of Pi. I mean, I know it's on a book, but stuff like that is, is original stuff. Just too much shit out there. I just was reading an article, too. You see, I never liked Joe Buck. Joe Buck's this uh, sports announcer. And maybe it's because of the nepotism. He got the job because of his dad. Now, I know everybody says he's great and all, but I guess that always bothered me, and maybe I'm jealous. And, of course, I should be jealous. Who wouldn't want to have his job? The guy's calling the World Series and NFL football every week. I mean, what, what better job than that? So, but I'm reading the article now about him. It's kind of interesting. So, I'm totally, like, was immersed in the life. How cool to be to go with your dad. Like, spend every day, you know, spend spend a season with your dad calling uh, Cardinal games. <laughs> Pretty good. So, uh, yeah, I'm uh, going to be going to sleep. But I wanted to get <clears throat> something out there for the, the folks the folks that are, are watching. I apologize, I haven't been on, but I'm feeling like doggy do. I've been eating soup and challah bread and crackers and apple juice and tea. And I still, well, I, I feel like maybe I'm feeling a little better, but I'm going to, I'm laying low this weekend. A lot of football I can watch. I can watch a lot of football. I'm watching football right now, Cincinnati, Louisville. Oh, it's a barn burner. And Grimm was on tonight. I freaking love Grimm. Love to be in an episode of Grimm. What a great show. What a great freaking show. So there's a possible audition this weekend too, but I don't know. I'm going to see how I feel, to be honest with you. If I feel good, I'll be there. If not, and I heard we're getting a flooded. So uh, Peanut and I, Peanut, we're going to make an arc? Peanut, you want to make an arc? Why don't you, you know what? Something about my dog. She's not the most... I mean, she'll lay here. She'll lay here a little bit, right? But uh, she doesn't want to really... She doesn't want to be in the spotlight. Peanut doesn't want to be in the spotlight. And who can blame her? With me, it's me or nothing. So so I, I try to grow on the beard for an audition. And as you can see, it's... It really doesn't grow when it's peach fuzz on my face. But I haven't shaved and I'm getting more gray in my beard too, so... I haven't been able to work out all week. So it's been a great week. And then I found out Strep is going around and all this other stuff. Who knew? I didn't. 
So I hope everybody has a great weekend, uh, and I'll, uh, I might have some more stories. I'll be sitting here a lot this weekend, so whenever I'm bored, I'll be popping on. All right? Talk to you soon. Critical Mass signing out for October 26, 2012. Halloween's right around the corner. How exciting is that? <laughs>